on Saturday last weekend down in Staten Island against Wagner College, who is now coached by two people from Rhode Island. One is the head coach of Thomas Shanahan, who was our assistant the last eight years or nine years. And Kelly Moore is the diving coach. Kelly graduated in 2009 and been there for her second year there. So it was like homecoming going to the meet. There were a lot of alumni from the area that came down for me to see Colin and Kelly and, and see Rhode Island against Wagner. So it was really a very neat experience. Um, the first meet we've been away uh, since November, so there was a little bit of a what's going to happen when we're away kind of feeling. We were tired, we were missing a couple of kids. Uh, Katie Mangano uh, was out for the meet, so it was Caitlin Carter. Uh, well, she did swim, she was at full strength. But we weren't sure how the meet would go, and it was really interesting when it came down to two events. The score was tied, and the 200 IM and the form freestyle relay still to go. So it was great, great excitement, and uh, it was a little nuts on the deck trying to figure out what our lineup would be, whether we needed to make changes, and how we would finish strong. We had talked to the swimmers about the fact that this could be way the meet would end, but uh, you never know how things turned out. It turned out to be just the way we thought it was going to be. And it came down to the last event. You now, Wagner had been sprinting very well all day. They won the 50 and the 100, and we were just a little bit off. And, um, so we weren't sure how strong our relay would be. We moved Rachel Revolinsky out of the IM, and Jessica Andrews we picked up where she left off, and she won the event second last event and then Rachel went and moved into the freestyle relay and with uh, Chaya and Sarah and Rachel and Susan Nugent anchoring it we felt we had our strongest relay even though we didn't have Katie Mangano and it came down to Susan Nugent against uh, Meredith Ketchum their best freestyler at the end and Susan just touched her out we won the meet by 0.15 seconds Susan went 53-6 to anchor the relay, and so it was really very, very exciting. And both Wagner and Rhode Island felt they had a really good meet. And it was a great environment, and um, so we, we felt really good coming on the bus on the way back. Jessica Andrewsy, freshman from Chicago, Illinois, was our performer of the meet this week. Because um, of especially her 200 breaststroke and her 200 IM, second last event. She's been living somewhat in the shadows of Rachel Revolinsky, who's had a really great um, freshman year, and, and Jessica and, and Rachel swim the same events I am and, and breaststroke. So it's a little bit of a um, coming out party. We moved Rachel to an outside lane in the 200 breast to give her some experience. Uh, the leg can, not sure how things would work out when she gets seated up in Buffalo and put Jessica in the middle of the pool. And so it, it was an adjustment for Rachel to make. She handled it quite well and came back and again to form a I really to show that she can swim fast. But for Jessica, it now gave her a chance to be in the middle of the pool and feel as if she's really uh, leading the event. And then came down to the IM. She had to, to do her job at the IM and set us up to the relay so that Jaya, Sarah, Rachel, and Susan could possibly win the event, which they did, and Jessica did her job and, and, and won the event of course and, and set it up so that the win of the three really would make a difference in the outcome of the meet. And she stood up. She looked good. She looked better than she did the week before. She, little, she rushed her stroke a little bit the week before. This time she settled in a little bit. She's a really smart race in both the 100 and the 200 breasts. Of course, her IM was a good solid swim as well. So she's certainly deserving and, and had a great year, trained hard, and has been a valuable member of the team. Again, gets a little bit overshadowed because of Rachel and how strong she's been, but she's certainly been, she's had a good year so far, and it's a good thing for her at the end as we get to the championship. We swim Vermont on Saturday, swim and dive Vermont, and Vermont is the kind of program that really sets again, as does University of New Hampshire a model for where we should be and want to be. They've been strong the last several years. Jerry Kendoya is their head coach. He's a uh, Rhode Island uh, native. He grew up here. Uh, so he has some close ties to us. He's been ECAC coach of the year a number of years back. He runs a very good program in Vermont. So when they're, they're going to get a good uh, 
table setter, if you will, for us to look at when we're growing our program. So it's going to be a competitive meet on Saturday. Everybody's coming in a little bit tired because we're at the end of the season. We've been training hard and talked to him yesterday, and that's where his songs are too, uh, where ours are. So it will be uh, a very good matchup for us. And we need to continue to step up. We need to find this level of competition as we prepare, prepare for our championship. We know that we can stand up and race against some of the best that are in the way that we want to uh, try to work towards. So it'll be a good test for us. It's our senior recognition day. So Jennifer Lopez, Katie Mangano, Caitlin McGeehan, Sasha White, Nina Smith will all be recognized and honored at the beginning of the meet before we start the first event. We hope to have a number of alumni back. This is our signature winter alumni event. Hopefully we'll have good support for both alumni and parents. So we'll have a lot of people here to meet to support our seniors, specifically more generally a good meet against 